how did the blues start with you? I'm talking about the music in your younger days. Yeah. When did you pick up the guitar? Oh, my younger days, years ago, uh, I liked the music. Well, them, them, them time, uh, long years ago, you didn't have no radios or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? You had a radio. You stayed on a plantation, you had a radio, it was just like going to a picture show now. Everybody didn't have, they, 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 they didn't have, uh, uh, like you in the radio, that knowing that what's going on and everything like that, you 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 you, 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 just, you just way behind. Yeah. And if you didn't understand, like you uh, pretty good understanding, when I come along, had to go to school when I could, and then by the time I started the school, and I had to go out and get out and you know go to work and. Fly mule, drive tractor, shop cotton, and whatever that you wanted to do for yourself, like I did, you would you 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 just had to do on your own. So if I the number records of thing come the blue come on, somebody liked it, I said, well, if I live, get old, I'm gonna learn that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be like that. You know what I'm saying? That I thought, then I started put one string upside the wall. Bail what you, what you, that's a bailing one. Yeah. You know, but you bail me with it with. Put it upside the wall and uh, put two bottles in it, nail upside the wall, and do like that. I used to do like that. Ooh. With a piece of wine. And I used to sing and play. That's what I started on that thing. Well, well, little time I went to school, what time go to school, we had, we had to walk 10, 15, 20 miles going to school, you understand? Well, little time did go. And then if, if, if they are, uh, if the school had what I had, or, or any old house there, I had a wild side before we got to the school now, I'd have them out in the room trying to play, you know what I mean, <laughs> Yep, I get spilled from school. And then they come with the other. Yeah, I don't have them, so I quit that. So I don't own it, own it, and every chance I could get when I wasn't working, and that old house that we lived in on the plantation, Yeah. I had old wives up and upside the wall somewhere, you know. And when did you get your and, first guitar? And then, and then, years to come, I went to school enough to know how to order, you know? You know mm -hmm. how to write a little order, or something. And my mom used to tell me, I said, well, what are you doing? I, I said, I want to make guitar. Well, don't you be playing old blues now, you. That's what she would tell me. I said, I got the first one out of play. So, the first old guitar I ever got, I remember Gene Archer get, uh, it was a Gene Archer guitar. Now, I got that thing that had, had good, you know, kept good strings on it. It, it, it wasn't, I didn't like that. I wanted some steel ring, you know. So I went on and uh, I put that down, and kept on, kept on. My mother, she used to give them that country jokes that you call it, you know, go work and all, work all the week, have a shotgun house you live in, mm -hmm. move all your belongings in the back. And sometimes more houses about, 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 about four rooms long, you know, sometimes five. And she used to call herself and give them that country joke. You come out in a in, in, in room. Yeah, at night, them guys come out at night, Sunday night on Sunday evening like that. And uh, uh, Monday, oh Lord, Monday, you had to be straight to go to work. So now you couldn't go to town and stay town through with 12 or something like that. You got to go back out there in that country. And you all see them guys, right here in this town, right here, man, right now, you just couldn't walk the street, you all to go up there. But when 12 o'clock come, get where you get on back out there on that issue, flat issue, where you work at. But then, man, we're going to grab big old, before you come up there, big old storm. Hey, boy, where you live? <laughs> boy, where you work? I don't miss somebody, but give it, well, goddamn, get on back out there. I mean, it's time to go. Yeah. When you get back out there, well, I don't know, 
I got a boy now, he runs a club, he must have got that from my mama. And uh, uh, she used to sell corn whiskey. Corn, we couldn't get no seal whiskey. Hey, well, how you gonna get you now money to buy it with? Yeah. If you got over some seal whiskey, man, you was uptown then, man. <laughs> you used to make that old corn whiskey and more pour it and bow. They bought them out. And they go in them woods and everything, make that whiskey. You used to bring it to mama's house. She get me get four or five jobs sometimes. And they come down and them guys come down and she sell them a quarter, one quarter for half, eight ounces of one half pint of whiskey, one quarter is all it was. And the uh, they play around there sometimes to get from some of them there all night, be all out in the yard and everywhere. We're going to get rich up in town to get rich now, nowhere to go. <laughs> so wrong. Uh, I kept on, kept on around there, and they used to bring the old guitar. You could just like you'd be coming down the road. Yeah, you ain't no car, no car as much like that. Coming down the road, them old bad old guitar would be sounding pretty good, you know, with no lectures or nothing like that. Come on back to the corner now and then, and, and they, they lay the guitar down. I get, and, and she said, don't go, you lie, break a string. Don't go me. He said, Lily, he said, don't her name was Lily. Lily. Said, don't, don't bother them now. He might be something one day. So he drank a, break a string. Hell, I put one back on there. That's good as I want to hear. <laughs> Sometimes they get drunk. And they had to get back out there, get behind that music, lead the, some of them lead the guitar at the house, you know. Lee to get to her house. Oh, I had her all the week when I wasn't working on uh, picking up chip, cutting wood, or doing something, <laughs> feeding the hog or something to fool with. So I kept on, kept on. I said, mm. I said I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to learn how to play. And kept on, and then way on a few years ago, so I could order, order me a good guitar there. I got a whole bit pretty good guitar. Yeah. I said, I'm going to put the next thing on there. Only before I got. Got elected. This old I got. Now come in other words, I can tell you this here, you, know, you can't really can't play the blue or know the blue unless you live the blues. You know, I live the blues. Yeah. So I reckon that's reading up. And I'm, I'm, I'm the only one in in the family that went out. I got the name, my name on the road. The Cusy. So I got my sister's name, some of them. Some of them can't play a radio, can't pick up, and some of them are smart, you know. Some of them can't, and, and uh, I it, just learned all that on my own. Didn't nobody learn it to me, and I went to work. When I could read a little bit, got so I could read, went and got me some music books. I, I didn't, I couldn't understand that. I said, oh, I throw that away, you know what I mean? I play by ear sound, Yeah. You know? and, and that's the way I do. That's and I know when it's not right, but I couldn't. And then you, would, start, you started playing with the band as well, or you no, always played I, on your own? Yeah, I already played on my own, but I did have me a little band. I started a little band, the Rizzo Mason, years after then. Yeah. And I've been around a few places, well, around here in Mississippi, but now if I had a, been hooked up with somebody that showed me around or kept me around, I probably wouldn't have been young now. I've been up that road somewhere. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have been young now. You also played with your band nationwide? No, no, that's right around here. Always here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if it's nationwide, I've probably been going there. I, you know, how could I go with no money, no, you know, nobody yeah. to help me or nothing like that? And then it would look good and done on my own. And now, God made a, one of the three CDs and everything, and, and I, didn't, I didn't like that road. It got older, you know, and I didn't like that road, yeah. you know. Mavin had two children, I went and got me a job that I've been playing 25 years. Ooh. I just started back briefly a few years ago. And the last so I retired when mine told me, so where well, you getting old, you got to have some real I had that much you with me to rely on. Mm -hmm. So I went and got that stone wheel out there and retired out there, USDA. That's where I met my friend out there, he's real young. Yeah, you know, I, I both raised them all. Small Randy, yeah, you yeah. raised them. <laughs> and uh, from then on, that's how I come. And then I went out there, you used to go out there stone with me. And my supervisor, he real nice, uh, Charles Fish, you call him. Them guys, you, see, they didn't know I could play out there. A lot of them didn't know I could play. 
And you know, he, he, he dig his come. He said, well, you got time to take off. Hey, you take off a few days. I have more trust that I know no better. You know what I mean? I ain't yeah. never been nowhere. And, and uh, I went out there, when I fooled around there, my mind said, you're going to retire, then you gonna retire then if you want to play, then you know what I mean, you have something to rely on when you're going to retire. Just like I'm talking to you, I think nobody tell me that. Yeah. So I said, well, I had them got about, about 50 years old, 40 something, I don't know, about 40, 50 years old, wasn't around something like that out there, 40 something. No, you was in your 40s, huh? Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, they used to come out there year after year. You know, these blues festivals around here, up here, trying to get me to go, I wouldn't go. So after then, me and the guy came here and looked at this James Suntones, he's from the hill. He come up here from the hill, and he, his mother and him was up there. He was looking for somebody to play with, but he didn't want no quality. Well, there was a bunch of music that can't get along together. That's one thing <laughs> Mowgli can't do. So she told him, said, well, said, Eddie Cube's about the best guy you're going to deal with playing music. So me and him hooked up. Started playing around here and played around here, uh, you know, this round is not well off nationwide. Sometimes we go down the hill where you come, mm -hmm. count on right in Mississippi. Went to Arkansas a few times, not well off. So me and him got along good and everything, so he flew around there and he went for an undertaker and digging grave and hurting his back, you know what I'm saying? We had children, wife and children, that made him couldn't have a, a real job, a sturdy job like you know he couldn't handle. It. Yeah. So that made him start to they come in and he started to can him off. He know what was happening, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't. I'm still working out there at Stoneville, you know. And uh, he he come back in here, he got sick. He operated so I could really hear head in it. Something like that. And he told me, he said, Well, bud, he said, what you gonna do when you retire? I said, Man, I'm gonna fish, I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna fish and do around, I'm gonna hunt. He said, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I said, What that? He said, People all over sea can't play a third as good as you in getting rich. I said, What? He said, Yeah. Well, I didn't go right to play after I quit then. I messed around a while, fished a while, and I said, Well, I was wrong. Took him out. I started thinking. Now he done been there. I thought, I thought about what he told me. So I retired in 90. In 91, I booked Washington, D.C. wide open. I've been going ever since. New York and everywhere. Oof. I don't be been in the White House. Yeah, when well, that, 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 that I have to wear. The only reason I didn't go home was I was getting old and everything. and. But used to that road, and on that road there you lose a lot of rest, and I had to wake myself down mostly anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm not going nowhere. I'm in Mississippi right now. That's how I started. Yeah, that's a great that's story. That's how I started. I have a last question. Like, people who will uh, li li uh, read our book or watch our documentary, they are like young people from Europe who wants to start to play the blues. Oh yeah, I play up have been here. Do you have one good advice for young people who want to start playing blues and music? Well, I mean, that, that makes me feel real good because a lot of, uh, uh, we all, old people about gone, them old good blues, mm -hmm. they about gone. And uh, I would think that the young, real young people would be like up, but they're not. Because they don't like this old rap stuff and all that. You yeah. can't get nothing out of that. But it's a quite a few. It's, it's a few young people carrying it on now. Yeah. But now, what they playing now, the young people, they like, they like them getting out there hitting on a bucket or something. They chain talking that bad talk. You can't get nothing out of that. Blues is a feeling. Mm -hmm. If you don't wake yourself down, feel bad, your old lady gone, you start saying it through, it do pretty good. And uh, uh, you find out that you got a dog that he rolls his eyes, hell he gone, the damn cat leave and all that. And it's all built up on your, the, your wife, yeah. your woman, or whoever she is. My baby gone, she won't be back no more. And that, yeah, that just makes you think. And you flew around there, 
and you'll think of you some yourself. Yeah. Something like a Ludell, Ludell, oh, <laughs> baby, don't you hear me call you? It's all built up on a woman. I tried so hard in this world to get along with you. Ludell, Ludell, I'll pay your high rent, baby. I give you everything you need. You should down, be down my knee, woman. I beg you, should we please, Ludell, Ludell, oh, <laughs> baby, don't you hear me call you? Well, see, that's the blues. But getting out there hitting bam, 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 that ain't worth nothing. You know what I mean? The blues is a feeling. So they start. They, they first have to feel the blues before they start playing the blues. Yep. That's a good. Yeah, that's about the side of it. I must have gone. Didn't nobody teach me. That's right. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Cusick. Yeah. It was very nice talking to you. Mm -hmm. You welcome. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. You welcome, sir. My daddy went to the been the same age as you feel. Well, see, I'm strange. I'm strange. Yeah, I didn't tune it up. Huh? I didn't tune it up right, do I? Well, that's yeah, all right. You know it. Well, I 